can speak now to Lee Catherine Solway from the Save Our Bullies campaign group. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. You know, it's funny, I'm not a dog fan, and clearly there are people out there who have bought dogs uh, from dodgy breeders uh, who have deliberately bred dogs to essentially be attack animals, and they don't look after those dogs. In fact, they probably uh, encourage those dogs to become more dangerous in temperament. But there must be a lot of other people on the other side who are extremely responsible dog owners who fear that their perfectly beloved and safe family pet uh, could now face being destroyed. Absolutely. There's a lot of fear on both sides of the argument at the moment, and we appreciate that. There are very dodgy breeders, but not only of American XL bullies. And also, in this country, sadly, there are puppy farms which are rife. And due to the conditions in bad backyard breeders and puppy farms, the stress the mother carries goes in utero to those dogs, whatever the breed is, and then they're taken away too quickly from the mother. So three out of five puppy farm dogs, and over half the dogs in this country are sourced from puppy farms, they end up biting. So responsible owners are key here, and we need to be promoting how they socialise their dogs, how they look after their dogs. We do need harsher penalties for bad breeders and bad owners whatever the breed is because it's out of control right now dog bites are going up and up and up uh unlike alex i am a a great dog lover and uh it kind of worries me that uh, we have you know, tens of thousands of dogs that are being very demonized here some of the, lots of them being put down i don't i'm not comfortable with the idea of exterminating animals because humans aren't keen on them uh but that's uh, another issue uh what i'm worried about more i do think that a lot of these dogs are very dangerous we've seen they've killed people uh they can be a real menace and something did need to be done but i'm not sure that this government act uh, or this diktat is going to do the trick. Uh, and now we now learn that there may be as many as 100,000 XL bully dogs in the country. Uh, only 35,000 of them have been exempted, certified under this new system, which will involve spaying them and uh, uh, a guarantee that they wear... Uh, 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 those, uh, what do you call them, um, muzzles. <laughs> so I lost for words there. Uh, muzzles when they go when they go out. So that's good, 35,000. But there may be 100,000. So if you happen to live next door to someone with one of these dogs, uh, this is a Talk TV exclusive. We have established there is absolutely no way for you to find out whether the dog next door, the XL bully, is exempted or not or has been certified, and that problem will extend to the police as well. So it's hardly a particularly effective measure, it seems to me. It's not an effective measure. It's not going to do anything to protect the public. It's not going to do anything to protect good owners. It's just going to allow bad owners to find another breed a few years down the line. Muzzling dogs... Right, OK. They're muzzling the wrong type of dogs. Yes, they can be dangerous in this breed, but not all of them, the minority, but there are dangerous dogs in every single dog breed. It goes back to owners. And most bites take place in the home, not outside. The only way, as you said, to find out whether a dog is exempted is to speak to the police and the police to go round and do appropriate checks. Most responsible owners and most of the American bully community, of which I'm very proud, have done the right thing and they have exempted their dogs. They have taken the necessary steps to be responsible and to abide by the law. Breed specific legislation is not going to change this. In a few years, there'll be another breed. And if these dogs really were these killers, you should see the amount of abandoned dogs rescue have had to deal with before the ban and after the ban. If they were really that problematic and, and aggressive, why haven't we seen a huge influx in dog attacks from XL bullies over the last few months? And also, we've had horrible, horrible cases of cruelty towards these dogs where they've been tortured, ears chopped off, feet burned by bad people again. 
It's the wrong end of the lead they are targeting. I think you're right about this, uh, Lee. And do you know what I've been Thank saying you. for a long time? That, you know, you just said, let me repeat, that any dog breed has the capacity to ha harm Absolutely. someone if it's not well yep. trained. And there are also lots of illegal puppy farms keeping dogs in terrible conditions, which then means their offspring become potentially dangerous animals. Yes. Surely to regulate this whole thing, we should just look at bringing back the dog license. So if you want a dog, 100%. you're known to the authorities. 100%. I was a Lucy's Law campaigner, which was going to stem the flow of the puppy farmed dogs. Hopefully it's done something we've got a stick to beat them with now. But yes, I agree with you. We need the dog licensing back. We need to promote responsible ownership. And some of the money that has been gathered by DEFRA from the exemption process, hopefully they should use that money to promote responsible ownership. But do you know what else we need? We need harsher sentences for people with dogs dangerously out of control. And we need better enforcement for the bad breeders and those people with the dogs out of control. Because if there was a deterrent, mm. people would be more responsible and less likely to let a problem escalate and escalate. Mm. There will always be the idiot who thinks it's great to have a status dog and who will encourage aggression, whatever the breed is again you will always get, you know, that bad apple. But we need to crack down on the breeders. We need to crack down on owners who have dogs dangerously out of control. I had an English Bull Terrier. She was attacked badly by two Springer Spaniels. She didn't react, but I'm not calling for Springer Spaniels to be banned. I'm calling for better ownership and more responsibility Lee, by the you. public and the government. Lee, thank you so much. You're, you're brilliant thank talker you. and made thank you, Lee. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Lee. Good phrase that, that we're concentrating on the wrong end. Wrong end of, of the leash. Of I the love leash. that. I thought that and was also, very well also, also, they'll come up with a new breed soon, uh, which will get round this yeah, more. So this is just headline animals, hunting. right? Animals. You know, it takes a human to train an animal. It does. Exactly right. Exactly. Now,